All right. So uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you all for coming to Cal IT2 to join us today. Um, I wanted to uh, give you a brief overview and introduction to our research community um, and, and talk about some of the demonstrations that you're going to see today. Um, you know, Tom gave you a, a great presentation of, uh, of many of the artifacts of the research that he's doing here, showing you videos and photos and images. Um, really, though, so much of it is really interactive media. Um, and so that's what we're going to focus on uh, with a lot of these demonstrations. It'll be very hands-on for you to actually get engaged with the, the research directly. So there's five spaces we're going to be taking you through, or you'll be available to, uh, to, to wander to. Um, the first is the Star Cave, and this is the uh, one of our primary virtual reality spaces. It's actually a 360-degree, fully immersive space where when you're standing in the middle of it, it's actually almost at the resolution of what you can see with your eyes. Um, so in there, uh, well, and then the next space uh, in that same room is called the Next Cave. Uh, that is a tile display virtual reality environment as well. And then the Tour Cave is just on the other side. So this is two, those places are just two doors down in the reception area. Uh, the tour cave is actually in this back hallway. You'll be able to go around to get there. There's going to be people to help guide you to these spaces as well. And then the room space, which is actually just next door, has very, very large tile displays in 2D to show you extremely high resolution images. And then finally, the director's colony, which is all the way down past the elevators. And there's going to be a, a few presentations in there. So I'm just going to briefly talk about each of the presentations. In here, Kyle is going to be showing you some of what Tom presented earlier with the virtual reality models of Kerbert and Nahas. Um, and uh, you'll be able to virtually transport yourself into the mines, explore them, go sort of down into the dig site and see the artifacts that they found there. Then at the next cave in that same room, um, Matthew is going to be showing you uh, two different things. Cave Cam, uh, which is extremely high resolution panoramic photos that they're taking of different spaces from these dig sites. And he's also going to be showing you some of the work he's done with Open Dig, which is an application that use, is used on the mobile phone. Then in the tour cave, this isn't actually what the tour cave looks like, but that's the only photo I had of him. Um, Vid is going to be showing you uh, some of the, uh, the LIDAR scans uh, that he's done, either of Palazzo Vecchio or possibly also from Jordan as well. And then in Vroom, there's going to be five different presentations cycling through. Each presentation is about five to 10 minutes. So feel free to sit down. There's chairs in there and, and you know, get to experience a few different presentations. First, Falco Kester is going to be discussing some of uh, what else Chisa 3 is up to and some of the diagnostic work that they're doing there. And then after him, uh, Aaron is going to be showing you Archeostore, which is that data management system that Tom mentioned. Ian's going to be also talking in there about some of the, uh, the remote sensing work that they've been doing in there. Um, so this is using uh, some of the, uh, the aerial photography images, uh, but more historic photography images. And then Matt's also going to be talking about some of the uh, different Matt. Yes, another Matt. There are several Matt's. Um, so this Matt is going to be talking about the photo scan software that he's using. Um, this uses structure from motion, um, and that's going to be able to another 3D uh, environment that you can navigate to, and it associates the images that they've taken in the uh, 3D environment. And then Tom also is going to be talking about the drones that they've been building, and if we're lucky, he might actually give you a live demonstration of the drone, and it actually dynamically sending live video into the display environment in there. So. Besides that space, we also have another space called the Director's Colony um, with another tile display. And so in that space, there'll be four presentations, also about five minutes each, rotating. Um, and uh, Ashley's going to be starting off in there talking about some of the LiDAR work that she's been doing with Chisa 3. And David is going to be talking about Artifact. This is one of the augmented reality applications they use on a mobile tablet. And Andrew is also going to be following them, uh, talking about some of the high resolution spectral imagery uh, that they're using. So this is uh, associated with the search for the Genghis, lost tomb of Genghis Khan, another Chisa 3 project. 
Uh, that's taking place in Mongolia. And uh, finally, this is actually, there, there are two images there. Ian, or I'm sorry, Joe is going to be talking about some of the, uh, the structure from motion work that he's doing. That image on the right is actually a computer graphics image made from a 3D model. Um, the one on the left is the actual photograph. So you can see what amazing quality that they're getting. I should mention that all of these systems, or almost every single system and software application you're going to be seeing, has actually been developed here at Cal AT2, the software and the actual visualization systems. Um, talking with Tom DeFonte earlier, he reminded me that a lot of these visualization systems are, are really storytelling platforms. And you know, what, what Tom did earlier was presented you know, the, the larger story. But really, these are you know, interactive stories. So it's going to be really exciting, hopefully, for you to actually engage directly with it and create your own experiences and maybe insights into that world also. So I should mention, before these tours, we are giving you a little bit of time about, uh, well, it's, we're, we're running a little bit late. But uh, at, at 6 o'clock, in about uh, a little bit more than 10 minutes, we're going to um, start the tours. But before then, I hope that you'll have some drinks and food in the pre-function area. And then after, yeah, the food will be going the whole time. You can return to it and the drinks. Um, but uh, the tours will start at 6 and, and continue on to 7.30. So you can come and go into any of the spaces. There will be people with signs uh, to help guide you to any of the spaces. And there also is a handout with uh, the name of all of the, the researchers who will be showing their work and contact information if you want to follow up. But thank you very much.